Hi, everybody. This is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Hack, and in this podcast, we'll review the heart sounds. The act of listening to sounds coming from inside the body, usually done with a stethoscope, is called auscultation. The characteristic lub dup sound of the heartbeat is produced when the heart valves close, causing turbulence in the flow of blood. When the blood is flowing smoothly, no sounds are generated. An analogy for this is the louder sounds produced by a quickly flowing stream with rapids or waterfall compared to the quiet flow of a large deep river. The heart sounds are heard by placing the stethoscope at four different auscultation sites, each of which is positioned a distance away from the valves the source of the heart sounds. Blood flow helps carry these sounds away from the valves, so they are best heard at these four sites. There are four heart sounds made during each cardiac cycle, but usually only the first and second sounds, called S1 and S2, are loud enough to be heard in a normal heartbeat. S1 is the first sound, which is heard as the lub sound in the heartbeat. It is the louder of the two sounds and is a little longer in duration. It is produced when the AV valves close, both the tricuspid and bicuspid, as ventricular systole or contraction begins, which creates turbulence in the blood flow. The second sound, known as S2, is more quiet and shorter in duration than S1. It is heard as the dup sound in the heartbeat. It is the result of blood turbulence created when the semilunar valves, the pulmonary and aortic valves, close at the start of ventricular diastole or relaxation. S3 is a quiet sound that usually cannot be heard. It is produced from blood turbulence as the ventricles fill with blood from the atria. S4 is also too quiet to hear. It is the result of blood turbulence during atrial systole. Listening to the heart sounds can have important diagnostic value. Any abnormal sounds made before, between, or after the normal heart sounds is called a heart murmur. They may also be loud enough to cover or mask the normal sounds. Murmurs may be any kind of noise, like a gurgling, a rushing, or a clicking sound, and in adults often indicate a valve disorder, such as a stenosis, when a valve doesn't completely open all the way, or an incompetency, when a valve doesn't fully close all the way. Heart murmurs are more common in children, usually heard in kids ages two to four, and often go away as the child grows. These murmurs are called innocent or functional heart murmurs.